players from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Tries a through ball. Spoon forward. Has he found his man? Valencia, great challenge. Passes it through. Chance! And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Oh, he's really drilled it. Well, the precision wasn't quite in keeping with the quality of the strike, but there was lots of power behind it. Away from immediate danger. Referee's given a throw. Out to the left it goes. Cuts it out. Montero. It's come loose. And that's a throw. -in. Forward it goes. Now the pass. Boots it upfield. Nicely measured pass. And he's made certain that won't get through. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But Importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. It's a long forward pass. Montero. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Montero. Valencia. Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. Is it in? And that really should have hit the net. I think when you're in front of the goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And the cutback. There it is! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Ecuador take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Looks to thread it through. Plays it out to the wing. Flags up. Touch and go. Aren't they supposed to get the benefit? Looks like a good ball through. Montero looking to get on the end of this. And we've reached half time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Ecuador leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Ecuador going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, 
but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. And it's been taken short. Turns and goes back. Same again, same outcome. Well, when you see chance after chance go astray like that, it's only natural to think that they may end up with a little regret here. They've played it short. Turns and goes back. Danger averted for now. Looks to slip it through. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Well, they do like to operate with a high line. It's, it's risky if the ball's not pressed and, and the line isn't straight. Venezuela have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. And it's Montero. Turns and goes back. Great reaction! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. <laughs> Valencia plays it short, turns and goes back. It's anyone's ball! for a throw. Rondon passes it through. Now here's the through ball. Gets into some space. Pumps it upfield. Oh, good interception. It's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble. Yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Rondon. There will be a throw-in. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Valencia. Now the cross. And out to safety. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. This is promising. A chance! Up to meet it! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, it should have been the clincher, Peter, and he'll be kicking himself for not taking the pressure off. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. 
But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. It's long and forward. Four extra minutes added on. Ecuador just have to run down the clock. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and he'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Keeper and try something new. The final whistle. Ecuador 